Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys how I always build up a huge freezer stash of breast milk without actually having to put that much effort in. If this video is bringing you to my channel for the first time, I just wanna say welcome. My name is Becca, I'm a registered dietitian. I share lots of nutrition and healthy eating and natural living content here on my channel, but I'm also a mom of three. I have a currently a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a 10-month-old. So here and there, I like to share videos um, related to motherhood, um, specifically when, like when it comes to like organization or systems or maybe some hacks that just help make mom life amongst all the busyness and craziness of you know a full life a little bit easier. And something that I have done with all three of my children is build up a big freezer stash of breast milk. So I have breastfed um, all, uh, all three of my kids um, through the year mark or beyond, just depending. Um, we're, we're getting there with my last one. Um, with my daughter, I think we went to like a year and a half. Um, with my second, by the time we hit the year mark, I was already like three months pregnant, so that was it. That was where we stopped. Um, and then uh, my son, Bo, he's again, he's 10 months old and we are still, you know, going strong with nursing. And something that I've always done is built up a freezer stash because it makes my life so much easier. Nine times out of 10, the baby is with me and I nurse them. They really don't get very many bottles. Um, and it's not because I have anything against bottles. It's honestly just a million times easier to just stick them on the boob than have to pump and then clean the pumping bottles and then feed them the bottle and then clean the bottle. It's just, it's a lot of extra work. Um, however, it does really come in handy. For example, if we want to go out on a date night, um, if I'm gonna be out during the day, maybe I'm going just to get my hair done or and I'm gonna be there for several hours or if we're going on like an overnight trip because we have like a, one of our friends is getting married there are always things that come up um, especially you know in that first year when the baby is really I mean if you're nursing that whole time when the baby really wants to be with you and wants to be nursing most of the time so these things do pop up and for me I love to like whenever I can to do like more work um, and a little bit of planning on the front end um, to just be prepared for anything so that on the back end, I'm never like scrambling or feeling overwhelmed. Now, does this work all the time? No, there's definitely stress and overwhelm in my life, but I do try and take, and take this approach to everything, um, including motherhood. So if there is like a trip coming up or we want to go out on a date night, I'm not scrambling like, okay, I got to start pumping like crazy. And how much ounces should I, you know, do I need to pump so that I have enough and calculating out the days. I just pump regardless. And that way, no matter what, there's always tons of milk in the freezer. It's just not something I have to think about. Years ago, when my first was born, um, we had a lot of issues you know, with breastfeeding in the beginning. There was lots of ties, revisions, and pain, and whatnot. I'm sure many of you can relate. Um, and that um, IBCLC that I saw at that time, she was such an angel. She gave me a really incredible piece of advice, because I probably wouldn't have done this or thought to do it myself, but she said, start pumping every day for 10 minutes. That's it, just 10 minutes. It's like, just make it part of your routine. After the baby nurses, that first feeding of the day, pump for 10 minutes and then store whatever you get. And I did start doing that. I started, I usually start around um, like four to six weeks. I usually wait, I don't introduce the pump um, at all in the very beginning because like your milk is just like coming, usually coming in kind of strong. Your body's like really trying to figure out how much milk it needs. And I just don't want to like, personally, I just don't want to mess with it. And I'm also just too tired and too lazy to do any sort of additional pumping. But around that four to six week mark, I do start pumping every day, just 10 minutes. It becomes part of the routine. It's so simple. It's only 10 minutes. So it's really minimal effort. But when you know, you like small steps over a sustained period of time, if I'm doing that every day and you know, the baby isn't getting tons of bottles because they're still little and they're with me all the time and I'm mostly nursing them, all of a sudden you start to build up a massive freezer stash. And there are so many benefits to having that milk just stored in the freezer, ready to go. It lasts you like six months, so you have plenty of time to use it. Um, and if you don't use it in time or you're not gonna be using it in time, there's a couple things that you can do. One, you can donate it. Um, there's like really great Facebook groups if you look up in your area of moms like needing donor breast milk. Um, you might just be able to talk to moms in your area and find 
find out if someone needs some. Um, there's been you know a few times where close friends of mine um, who had breastfed babies just found themselves like in a pinch for whatever reason um, and really needed milk. And I was able to be like, here's an entire entire bag take it here you go which is like such a blessing to a, like a stressed out mom like I can understand being in that position and it's because I have because I do these small steps every day and just a little bit every day you end up building up this really amazing stash now if you don't use it before it goes bad it's still not a waste because you can take that milk that's technically past date and you can make milk baths out of it um, I did that with my first we had I had so much milk with her because she like almost literally never got a bottle and we had a lot of milk baths which is amazing for her skin breast milk has so many incredible benefits it's like a magical food and you can use it in baths so I thought I would share with you guys um, what pump I use now I remember I'm like sitting on one of the things I remember when um, I was pregnant with my first I got my pump through insurance and I remember it being like it feeling like this really huge, important decision. Like I did not want to pick the wrong pump. I was did all kinds of research and you know, I just spent so much time and energy, which is a total first mom thing, first time mom thing. Um, but I just want to tell you that any pump you get, I'm sure is going to be just fine. Like it's, it's really not that big of a decision. I'm sure they're all good. The two, at least when I got mine, the two, which probably I'm guessing are still the top two are like the Medela, I think it's called the Pumpin' Style, and then this um, Spectra one, is it S2? I don't remember, but it's the pink one. Um, and so this is the pump that I have, and it comes with like the two pump bottles, and I love this pump. It's the exact same one I've had since my first. I've used it so many times. We are like best friends. Um, but really it's only 10 minutes a day, so it's like not that big of a commitment. So this is the one that I have, I really like it. Um, the main reason I ended up picking this one over the Medela one a few years back um, was just because it's much quieter. The Medela one, at least it was, I don't know, maybe it's changed. I've, you know, it's been a few years, but it was very, very loud. Like I was like, well, I remember like watching YouTube videos and it's like, rawr, rawr, and it's just kind of annoying. Um, this is super quiet. It barely makes any noise at all. Um, and I've just had no issues with it whatsoever. So that's the pump that I use. I do also, I forgot to grab it, but I do also have the Medela, just the hand pump as well, um, which is, comes very much in handy when you are like, out of the house and you know baby's drinking pumped milk at home but you might have to pump on the go so handy to have the manual pump because it's you can literally throw it in your bag it's portable it doesn't require an outlet don't make the mistake i made when i was with my for, as a first time mom i remember i was in a wedding and i was like in the bridal party and i did, like why did i not just like think to get a manual pump like i knew that those were a thing but i just like didn't have one and I had to miss the whole cocktail hour because I had to go find somewhere. I lugged this thing around with me in like a big bag. I had to go find somewhere that had an outlet, like a bathroom. And the cocktail hour was like so far from any bathroom. I had to get like a staff member to take me on a golf cart. It was like this whole thing. And I missed, I missed like a huge chunk of her wedding because I didn't have a, a manual pump. Like, hello, that was, that was a first time mom mistake. So get yourself a manual pump too, if you're gonna be doing this because it will come in handy. So once you pump 10 minutes a day, whatever you get, just store it in those little breast milk, those like little plastic bags, obviously like write the date and um, how much you got that day. Depending on the day, I could get upwards of like five or six ounces. Some days it would only be two. It just depends. It depends once your cycle comes back, ovulation can make a dip in your milk supply, how much water you drank, how much you ate the day before. Like it's just, there's so many factors, but it's not about how much you get. Like it's really, it shouldn't be a fixation. It's just that you do it every day and you make it part of your routine because if this is something that you're doing over a sustained period of time you really are going to build up a ton of milk um, and you might be like going back to work in a few months so if that's the case this is a great way to build up a stash that when you do go back to work um, at 12 weeks or whatever you're gonna have a decent amount of milk already stored up and that's kind of a different you know a different pumping situation than I've done because I've always been home um, but again no matter what your circumstances is I feel like this is always a good way to just either start up or like build and sustain a really big freezer stash of breast milk.
Okay, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you are a new mom, um, if you're watching this because you're pregnant for the first time, um, I especially want to just send my love your way. If this is gonna be your first time breastfeeding, or maybe it's not your first baby, but it's gonna be your first time um, where you're really determined to breastfeed, I actually have a video that I did a couple years back um, all about like the first two weeks of breastfeeding, how to absolutely rock it, all the things that you wanna know, um, education and knowledge beforehand, like before baby is here and you're tired and you're overwhelmed is so important. Setting up that support system, learning as much as you can, taking a breastfeeding class, like if familiar familiarizing yourself with the whole process um, is so helpful ahead of time and I share a lot of really like good tips and like little nuggets of info that are so helpful in that video. Um, I've been around the block when it comes to nursing and I've learned a ton um, and I'm happy to share that information with you and I hope that you find that helpful if this is going to be your first time. If you guys have yet to subscribe to my channel, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe, join my little community here on YouTube and please comment down below and let me know what kind of videos you would like to see next. I find that feedback so valuable and I obviously wanna make videos that you guys want to see but thank you again so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.